when I got really sick, I started being able to see things I just didn't see before. Mm -hmm. Like that was the, that is the bizarre magic of how the Holy Spirit works with brokenness. Like, like when, when God lists all the people we're supposed to visit, I thought it was so that we could be extra nice to them. And it turns out like the, the widow, the poor, the orphan or whatever. And that just, it just turns out of course, like, but that's where God is there. So that's where we should go. And I didn't know that till I was completely undone. And I, I do think part of the, the joy of the pastoral calling is they just have to regularly go back to that place mm. that mostly in our lives we drift away from. And in their job, in their actual job, they have to go there on purpose all the time. Yeah. To everybody's gross, boring, horrible brokenness, to everybody's hospital rooms, to everybody's annoying grandma, to everybody's, like all the indignity is where they go, they dwell, then they do some reading and they get ready for Sunday and then they tell the truth again that week. And that to me is what makes that job really different and really special than the therapist or the journalist or the whatever. Is there the people who go to that like the, the presence of God on purpose and then just do their best to stay there as long as possible? Well, I think that's a wonderful definition of preaching, pastoring, and how just doing your job, you are forced into... I remember visiting a young man uh, who was in the last stages of dying with leukemia, uh, 18 years old, and coming out of that visit with him in the hospital and saying, turn, uh, it's Thursday and I've got to totally start over and rewrite my sermon." And it was like God had pushed me into that space with him. And that young man yeah. had told me truth yeah, yeah. that was better than yeah. the truth I'd brought. Yeah. So, so I love that. Yeah, that's right. And like, because we want, we want the outside in. Thank God the main line is so cosmopolitan and we want to, like, we want to mm -hmm. absorb all the, everything that the world is teaching us mm -hmm. about what it needs. But like in the end, unless we go back to that place where the truth forces itself on us, yeah, then and then that's where we go. We are unfortunately transformed. It's horrible, and then we love God again that week.